Hey, what's going on guys, Diglo here, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the effect that you've just seen on screen. It's actually very simple and it'll only take you a couple minutes, uh, so let's get right into the tutorial. Uh, I've got my song uh, already imported here, I've got my clip, it's already synced so that the impact is you know, where you want it to be. And I've also imported the sound effect that is in the description, so do go ahead and download that before you start the tutorial. Uh, if we just go ahead and play it through, uh, you'll see that it's just a normal impact. Yeah, as you can see, it's just a completely normal thing. Uh, so what you're going to want to do is uh, go ahead and listen through and split the clip on the uh, like the five beat drops before the uh, before the other uh, song. So so you want it there, there there and there and uh now what you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to go a uh, three frames back here so one two three and uh you're just gonna want to make sure that this last frame right here is a uh, a good frame this doesn't actually have to be chronological so just keep that in mind it's you know it's just a snap shots of each like second sort of so just play it through and uh just go ahead and click on the first frame of each of these segments, right click and freeze frame at cursor. Let's go ahead and do that for all of these. Uh, there we go, and play through. Uh, okay, it should look something like that. Uh, so now what you're gonna wanna do is duplicate uh, this uh, this track and, and go ahead and just search for black and white and just apply it to the bottom uh, track right here. So now what you're gonna wanna do is actually start masking. So just go ahead and click on the cropping tool. I'm gonna make it slightly smaller so that I can actually see what the fuck's going on. And uh, now I'm gonna actually start, uh, just click on the mask, click on the first keyframe uh, and start just drawing a very rough thing around the actual uh, skin. It doesn't have to be perfect, obviously. It actually looks a bit better if it's rough, but do remember that it should look, you know, somewhat decent. And go ahead and set the feather type to both and the feather to 1%. And then go ahead and go up here and search for drop shadow. Uh, just go ahead and apply the default to the top track. And go ahead and adjust it like you want it. I'm going to go ahead and put it like that. And I'm going to increase the blur a bit. And the opacity like that. So just make sure, just make it whatever you think looks good. And now that we've got that, we can just go go ahead and mask every other uh, video thing here. So just go ahead and make another sort of a very rough mask around this skin. Uh, just like that. Uh, I would say that the rougher the better, but it does need to be somewhat accurate. So keep that in mind. Uh, but just go ahead and do these for all of the snapshots that you want to do. You'll obviously have less work to do if you plan on doing like two or three. Uh, but if you do like eight, you will have a couple masking things uh, to do. And there we go. And the final one right here. So just go ahead and uh, mask that out. Uh, just like that. Very, very rough. And then we can play it through. Just like that. And now what we're going to want to do is just add an impact to this last kill. I'm going to set the velocity to 300, so 1, 2, 3 forward, and 50. And I'm going to add a preset. Let's add some smooth impact. And uh, what we're going to do next is just go up here and search for film glow. And we're going to want to just uh, drag the default onto this first segment right here. And we're going to set the glow intensity to 35. And we're going to go up here and we're going to save it. So I'm just going to name it a tutorial. Uh, save it. Click off and on it. And I'm going to go ahead and delete that. So now what we're going to want to do is just drag the tutorial thing onto this bottom track right here. Uh, go three frames forward. Uh, or keyframe it. Go three frames forward and then set it to zero. So one, two, three. Drag it down to zero. And then we do the same thing for this next one. One, two, three. Uh, keyframe, drag it down to zero. One, two, three. Uh, keyframe drag it down to zero and do the same thing for the last one just like that uh, you can do the same thing for the cropping or for the masks up here it does look a bit better but I'm just not going to because it's you know sort of a waste of time uh, then just go ahead and uh, split the first effect right here just go ahead and do something like that and fade it out 
uh, and go ahead and just put these at the start of all of these. Just I'm gonna hold Control and I'm gonna drag them out. Uh, so make sure to do that. And now if we play it back. As you can see, it looks quite decent. Uh, we're going to want to add some shake on this last one to sort of, you know, make it a bit it's suspenseful, sort of. So I'm just going to make the the frequency like 12 and the amplitude like that, I think. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, just set it to zero here. And if we play it back... And there we go. That that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to add some some bass swoosh or something for this last kill, just make make it a nice impact, you know. Uh, and yeah, that, <laughs> that's pretty much the entire effect. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, make sure to leave a like down below, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. And peace. <laughs>